Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I'm going to show you an option to access Linux partitions uh, through your USB port on Windows. So just because my channel name is Living Linux, it doesn't mean that I exclusively use Linux. I also try other operating systems sometimes. And in this case, the reason why I'm going to look at accessing a Linux X4 partition with Windows is because of Rocknix. Now, the boot partition of Rocknix is accessible with Windows, but the, let's just say, game partition isn't because that's formatted in X4, which is a typical Linux file system. Now, first I want to show you that with the RK3588 image, the default is the Game Force Ace, and I have a Racha Rock 5B and the 5A. So that means that you have to make a little change to make it boot. So before I go into accessing the Linux partition, I first want to show you how to make this change. So we're going to plug in the micro SD card in a USB adapter. And you can see that it found the partition. So just to show you the properties. So this is FAT32. And here is the directory with the device trees. So in my case, the rock 5 b D2B file. So let's just say that you want to copy the whole file name. And if you have one of the other devices, that copy just one of those names. And then go to xlinux, xlinux conf. And we'll just use simple notepad and then you have to put it here so that is how you make rocknix boot on a rk3588 device uh, if it's not game force ace so that part is easy now adding games to the Rocknix image. Well, you can try it if you have a network connection, but in my case, I didn't have a network connection. So yeah, I think the easiest way is with an external USB drive on your Rockchip RK3588 device. But let's just say you don't have a separate USB drive. You can access the storage drive, but you need an operating system that can work with X4. Now, I saw reports that the Windows subsystem for Linux is able to mount an X4 drive or partition, but there's a catch. It can mount a Linux formatted drive that is connected to, let's just say, SADA or NVMe. But apparently, Microsoft, even after several years, they still haven't added the USB driver to 
the Linux kernel in Windows subsystem for Linux. So it's still possible, um, but I didn't feel like compiling a new kernel or at least make some changes to that kernel. So they say you need USB IPD and you need to add a USB mass storage driver. I mean, like, I'm sorry for the rant, but I think it's ridiculous for a company that makes multiple billions of dollars profit per year that even after so many years that they haven't even added the USB mass storage driver to their WSL kernel. I think it's just ridiculous. But again, sorry for the rant. Now, there is another option. I would say it's, let's just say, sort of like a last resort option because I've also seen reports that, uh, yeah, some people say that you might end up uh, with a broken partition, that there are some issues after it has written something to that partition. I mean, like to read from X4 on Windows, that's no problem. But as soon as you want to write on it, yeah, you might run into issues. But still, I want to show you this option. So I'll put the link in the description of the video and you can install it and after that I think it's best to reboot and as you can already see here that when I plugged in the USB adapter for the micro SD card that two partitions were actually added so hopefully it will show that this is actually X4 And that it is because I installed this little program. So this is on an AMD system. I also tried it on a Snapdragon ARM laptop, but unfortunately it didn't work there. And also another rant, yeah, Windows on ARM is really like a second class citizen for Microsoft because as you can see here, this is already a post from more than two years ago. But Windows on ARM still doesn't have this mounting option in the regular updates. I had to install uh, the Insider Preview to get it and to find out that it doesn't work with USB devices. But yeah, yeah. This 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 is another rant that for a company that makes multiple billions of dollars of profit per year, that they have not invested in Windows on ARM having the same possibilities as their regular Windows. Again, sorry for the rant, but. Yeah, but perhaps you know that a lot of Linux users, they're really not happy with Microsoft. And in a way, it's disappointing to see that Microsoft gives us so many reasons to be angry with them. Now, anyway, as you can see, you can just access the files. Well, I did a little test with a text file. And you can save it. And then opening it again, it's still there. So as I said earlier, the X4 FSD, I think it should be your 
last option but if you have no other option then yeah you can try it to access X for partitions on Windows and yeah I think the better option is just to uh, let's just say use a USB stick for a live Linux environment and work from there but I can imagine that just using X4 FSD is more convenient than booting Linux from a live USB stick. So, this is all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.